Hey everyone, welcome to another video. This time I'm doing the July Art Snacks Challenge. It feels like forever since I last uploaded a YouTube video, but I know it's only been about two weeks, and I'm honestly not sure if it's just because I got so caught up with studying for my board exam, and then immediately after that, I flew out to visit my parents for a week, and so it was essentially two weeks of just nothing video related, no voiceovers, no nothing. Um, but it's good to be back and making videos again. So let's get started. So this was actually a very similar piece to what I had planned in the June Art Snacks Challenge. But unfortunately, I knew that I already had two pieces done for June and that July was going to be really busy for me. So I decided to just move this piece over and kind of just redo it, but kind of have the same vibe to it. Um, especially because my June and July Art Snacks colors were very similar, surprisingly. I had blues, kind of like a black and a dark grayish color. And then with my July Art Snacks, I got red, which was perfect for the flowers since those are actually symbolic for this painting. So the drawing that I'm doing is of a character named Norman. He is from the series The Promised Neverland, which was a phenomenal anime series. It's about 12 episodes long. Um, I had actually never heard of this series until I saw Blow Up online, and initially I wasn't too keen on checking it out since I was like, oh, The Promised Neverland. It looks like the characters are kids. Like, I, I don't know. It's just not jiving with me. Um, but my a few of my followers on Twitter actually recommended the series and they were saying that it was really good and at the time I was looking for a series to you know just watch and enjoy over dinner or as a study break so I decided to check it out and it was phenomenal like I was not expecting to like it that much especially because I'm super picky about my animes and manga series but this series is easily one of my favorite the storyline the plot the pacing the characters and just overall execution of this series was just so well done and I highly recommend it I know the series covers up to I think like chapter 35 of the manga series um, and the manga series is well over a hundred chapters by now I think but if you guys are thinking of watching it I highly recommend just going into it blind especially because this series plays a lot on thriller and um, suspense elements so definitely don't look this up don't google it or anything just watch the series blind and trust me you will enjoy it a lot more compared to if you were to look it up and kind of spoil yourself with what happens but yeah this series I think I binge watched in like two days because it was just so good and I was literally sitting at the edge of my seat the entire time and I honestly cannot remember the last time I did that in an anime but it was just so well done and I cannot stop gushing about it so if you are looking for a good series like please just watch The Promised Neverland it was incredible but yeah going back to the piece so I decided to do this in my Plum Chester sketchbook so Art Snacks has their own line of art supplies and Plum Chester is kind of like their their own brand but it is unfortunately not a watercolor friendly sketchbook um, actually I don't think the sketchbook is good for any kind of wet media but I figured it'd be really cool to do all my art snacks challenges in art snacks own sketchbook so that was my fault and I don't really have a lot of experience with watercolor so unfortunately I don't think I got the best you know feel for watercolors because this was one of my first times using it but yeah it was really frustrating to use the sketchbook for watercolors the paper is really great it's really thick and overall it's a solid sketchbook but it's definitely not water friendly I mean I would lay down the paint and it would almost immediately dry so I wasn't able to do any blending or any gradients as I had envisioned for watercolors and so I also tried to lay down a layer of water first and then add the pigment and that didn't go too well either because the water would immediately get like absorbed by this paper before I even got a chance to put the color down so it did not turn out as nice as I was hoping but overall I hope I got the mood and the composition kind of right I was definitely going for like that dark suspenseful look especially because that's what the series is about um, just a lot of suspense and just dark themes overall but yeah I think the only part that I liked was the eye I'm not sure why it turned out 
well, but I really liked it. I think that was the only thing that I really liked about it. But yeah, so that was my Art Snacks Challenge for this month of July. Again, thank you so much for your likes and your comments. I do read all my comments and I appreciate all the feedback that you guys have given me so far to help me, you know, kind of improve my videos. And again, if you like this, feel free to subscribe, like, and comment, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks, guys!